Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are staying safe and happy and healthy right now. I know there is a lot going on in the world around us. And so I just wanted to give y'all a fun little video of some things I thought of that you could do while social distancing. And at this point, I think we're all a little tired of scrolling and refreshing on Instagram and checking our Facebooks and reading news articles. So hopefully this video will give you some ideas on things that you can do at home that are productive, but also just will make you feel a little bit better. The number one thing that I suggest doing while you are at home right now is tidying up the space around you. If you're anything like me, your whole vibe and energy levels and all of that revolves around the space that you're in. And so as we're all at home, as we're all working from the couch and the kitchen table, be sure to keep those spaces around you clean and tidy. That way you're in a peaceful environment. You're not feeling overcrowded by the things around you. And you'll find that this actually will drastically change the way that you feel while working from home doesn't take super long and there are amazing results from just taking the time to clean up the space around you. Also, while you're at it, go ahead and clean up those dishes in the sink. I know that you're working from home, you're eating from home, nobody's coming over, so things can start to pile up pretty quickly, but I promise that doing your dishes will really help you stay sane. While you're in the cleaning mood, you might as well just take advantage of this spring cleaning time and wipe down every single surface in your home. You never know what is on your coffee table or on your desk. So go ahead, break out that cleaner and start wiping everything down, getting rid of all of the dust and all the germs. Also be sure to check for cobwebs because when's the last time that you dusted those off? So since we're deep cleaning everything, now is a great time to finally wash your bed sheets. Your skin will seriously thank you. I find that the more I wash my sheets, the less my face breaks out. Also your sheets can just carry a lot of germs and so it's good to refresh those. And while you're at it, you might as well wash your laundry and all of the towels around your house. So all of your hand towels, your bath towels, literally wash all of it. So now it's time to tidy up the bedroom. And if you're anything like me, you kind of just drop things everywhere. Like I pile so much stuff on the dresser until I need to finally put it away. And so now's a great time to get all that stuff organized. Also, you should be taking advantage of this time at home and drinking as much water as possible. Again, your skin will thank you, your body will thank you. And of course, just like the other rooms, you're gonna wanna wipe down all of the surfaces and that means your mirrors as well. And now it's a great time to also vacuum. If you have a shedding pet, you vacuum already. I vacuum once a week, but you might as well go ahead and vacuum again because you have all the time in the world. Now is also a great time to finally clean out that junk drawer. I know we all have one. It's either in your kitchen or it's by your front door. You have one, go clean it out. When are you gonna have more time than now? Mm -hmm. 
And while you're at it, you might as well tackle that closet of yours and go ahead and transition all of your stuff into spring. Get rid of things that you don't think you're gonna wear next year and start to declutter for the next season. are going to be spending a lot of time at home now's a great time to not wear makeup to do some self-care put a face mask on really take care of your skin Also, with all of the salons basically being closed, now's a great time to give yourself an at-home manicure. Whether you're good at it or not, doesn't really matter. Nobody's going to be seeing your nails anyways. One of the things that has really helped me during all of this is journaling, and I highly suggest writing down all of your thoughts during this time. One, it just helps you process, but two, it'll be really interesting to go back and read everything that was going on. So I have been journaling in the morning, and I highly suggest bullet journaling. I'm thinking about doing an entire video on it, but it has just been really good for me with processing this season of life. Now would also be a great time to finally delete those embarrassing Facebook posts. Don't lie, you have them, we all have them. Let's read some of mine, shall we? Be real here what are we all doing right now basically we're binge watching our favorite shows and there's no shame in that because when else are you going to be able to do that so turn on your tv watch your favorite show get your favorite snack enjoy this time at home and really just try to make the most of it If you're not really into TV, you can finally read that book that you got recommended like two years ago that you bought on Amazon but you never really read. Now's a great time to do that. And even though we are technically social distancing, you should be checking in on your loved ones. So call a friend, call your mom, make the most of it and still keep those relationships going. One of my favorite self-care things is my skincare routine. And so if you don't have a skincare routine, now would be a great time to try out some new products. And if you wanna try Glossier, I have 10% off linked down below in the description box. Don't forget to fold that laundry that you started until it is folded and put away. Your laundry is technically not done. Now is also a really great time to finally do your taxes. If you have been putting it off, lucky you, the deadline has been moved to July, but you should still go ahead and do them. Now you are technically early, so good for you. Now's a great time to make a playlist on Spotify of all the songs that you listen to while in quarantine. Break out that old gaming system, your Wii, your DS, any old computer games. Right now you can download Roller Coaster Tycoon for like 20 bucks. So if you don't have any gaming systems, I highly suggest that. And if you're really, really bored, you can take the time to shave your sweaters before you pack them up. you can try a new craft. I highly suggest embroidering. It's super cheap and it takes up hours and hours of your time to finish.
don't forget to be active during the day. I like to do some at-home workouts. I follow this girl, Chloe Ting. I'll link her channel down below, but she has some amazing at-home workouts. And if all else fails and you end up completing all of these and you don't know what to do with yourself, go ahead and just take a nap or go to sleep because we'll be here for a while and it's better to be rested. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video and seeing all the things that I've been doing to stay busy while at home. If you like this video though, please give it a big thumbs up and leave me a comment sharing some of the things that you've been doing to stay busy at home. Don't forget to subscribe if you are new to my channel. I would love for you to stick around and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys.